Hey guys, welcome back to Cook in the Weeds. Okay, so this is part two. Part two of our pasta sauce recipe video. And I got my son still awake. Okay guys, so welcome back to part two of the unbelievable pasta sauce. So it's been about four hours. Okay, I've had this going for, yeah, about four hours. And you can see the consistency of this sauce. I mean, we're talking nice and thick. Okay. So when we started in video one, we were right about here. I don't know if you can see that or not. All right. And you can see it's actually reduced down to here. So every... Half an hour, 45 minutes, what I did was, I actually stirred this sauce. And like I said, this is a marathon, not a sprint. All right. And all the fun stuff that is on the side here, we're going to scrape and put down, because that's our tomato paste. That's what thickens the sauce. That in time, okay, and reduction. All right. So now we've got a really super nice thick sauce. I mean... Look at that. Okay. So, I already gave it a taste. And with the fresh tomatoes from the garden, we're talking like super flavor. Super flavor. So now what we're going to do is, we are going to add even more seasoning just to bring this to the next level. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish this off with some olive oil. Okay. A little olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and the secret ingredient, some fennel seeds. Not a lot. All right. Now, what I like to do is put the parm in there and drop the fennel just enough to cover the top of the parm. I don't want too much fennel, okay, because fennel has like a licorice taste. So too much, I don't want my sauce to take like taste like licorice. So we're gonna mix that in there. Super, super, super nice. Alright, guys. Well, I tell you, you know what? This was definitely, hey buddy, this was definitely worth the time. Alright. And we got we got the sauce right here, ready to go. Alright, now I'm gonna actually do something a little crazy here, so stick with me. I'm actually gonna take the phone up. And I'm going to try to get the sauce right there. I'm not going to drop my phone. Oh, my God. This was, like, outstanding. You know, I just really wanted to show you how this came out. So, we're going to go in right now. Like I said, I got it right here. All right. Cook time. Four or five hours. Yep. Easy. 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 All right. Fresh tomatoes. Fresh seasoning. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Oh my God. That right there is just outstanding. You want to try some? Nope. No? Yeah. Okay, Very not yet. Nachos. So, guys, you have to try this recipe. Like I said, it takes time. All right, this recipe is a marathon, not a sprint. All right, total cook time is just like four or five hours. All right, oh, but the flavor and the smell alone, like the whole house smells like pasta right now. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go back for some more. Oh my God, that is so good. Guys, I want you to try this one and I want you to comment below. And let me know that you did it. I want to see you put in the time. All right. You can do it. All right. So thanks for watching Cook in the Weeds. I really hope you guys like this one. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.